What's going on everyone? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I did my nails for the very first time using Polygel and the Gelish Kit. Here is everything that I used to complete my nails. I will link everything in the description box below. As you can see here, my right hand is already done. So if you're interested in knowing how I did my nails, continue watching. All right, so the first thing that I did was trim my cuticles. Um, and the only reason I did this is because I thought my cuticles had kind of grown out too much. This is not a mandatory step, so please don't feel obligated to do this. This is actually purely cosmetic and it doesn't benefit your nail in any way to do this other than the cosmetic look. So if you don't feel comfortable trimming your cuticles, you can skip this step. Here I am pushing my cuticles back. This makes my nails look longer and it also keeps my cuticles healthy. I set my drill to low and I actually added a sand band to kind of score my nails a little bit. The scoring helps the nail tip stick to my real fingernail a little bit better. I will admit that I was kind of intimidated by this nail drill, but now I absolutely love it. And it was inexpensive, definitely worth every penny. This can be done with a hand file, but this is just so much faster. I'm using Kiss Super Speed Nail Glue, and I'm adding the glue to my actual nail instead of the nail tip. For me, it seems that the adhesion is just a little bit better that way. And I'm using the clear stiletto tips. Okay, so I attempted to cut my thumbnail down to match the right hand, but it didn't really turn out that way, so I had to fix the other nail so they matched. Here, I had to file down the stiletto nail on the sides because the nail tip was too big for my thumb size. You may or may not have to skip this step, but you know. This was the smallest thumb size that they had in the box. I used the nail drill to file down the nail tip so that it would be kind of flush with my natural nail. This step helps when you're trying to add the poly gel to your nail because the poly gel will go on more flat, if you know what I mean. Here I'm using the Gelish pH Bond. This is a preparation agent that is used to dehydrate your nail bed. So you just wanna put a thin layer on top of your nail bed and it will help with the adhesiveness of your nail agents such as the poly gel or Gelish or acrylic if that's what you're using. Okay, so here I'm using the Gelish Foundation Based Gel and this also helps with the adhesive bond between my nail plate and the product that I'm about to use, which is the Poly Gel.
I'm going to cure the foundation base for 60 seconds. I put some alcohol in a little container and set it to the side because that's what I'm going to be using to mold my poly gel. And the poly gel that I'm using today is the 008 Natural Pink. This will give me that transparent pinky sheer coverage look. When you first get it out of the tube, don't make the mistake of getting too much. You just want to get a small ball. And to be honest with you, I forgot to buy a sculpting brush, so I just used one of my art brushes. <laughs> it worked all the same. When you first add the poly gel to your nail, it's going to be really kind of hard. It's going to be hard to manipulate, but that's normal. Once you have the ball of poly gel on your nail, go ahead and dip your brush into your alcohol, but try not to add too much alcohol to your brush. The more alcohol you add to your brush, the more malleable the poly gel will become and you don't want it to be too runny. I've made that mistake. Once you have your alcohol on your brush, start to pat while moving the poly gel in the areas that you want it to go. So it's kind of like you're patting and swiping. Okay, so as you can see here, I needed to add a little bit more. So I just picked up a small pearl and added it to my thumbnail. From here, I'm just going to repeat my steps patting and swiping. You can kind of see that I'm struggling because I'm actually left-handed and I'm using my right hand right now to, to mold my left thumbnail. All right, you guys, I don't know if you can kind of see this, but I had to add another small pearl to the bottom edge of my thumbnail. But as you can see here, I'm struggling to add the poly gel to my nail, right? That's because I had too much alcohol on my brush. Try not to make this same mistake. So 
So eventually I got the poly gel on my nail and I'm just going to follow my same steps of patting and swiping, patting and swiping. Once I'm finished, I'm gonna cure the nail for 60 seconds. After the 60 seconds of curing, you want to use an alcohol drenched cotton round to wipe off all the stickiness from the poly gel. Using a hand file, I'm molding my nail into the shape that I want it to be. And I like a soft box shape. From here, I'm using one of the filing bits that comes with the, with the hand drill to buff out any bumps on the top of the nail. I want it to be as smooth as possible. Using my hand file buffer, I'm also gonna go over my nail again, just to make sure that my nail feels super smooth. I use my alcohol drenched cotton round to wipe off my nail. Now I'm gonna use the Gelish Top It Off Top Coat and this will give me that nice shine that everyone loves on the top of their nail.
You're also going to cure this for 60 seconds. After your 60 seconds, go ahead and wipe off your nail with your alcohol soaked cotton round to get off any of the stickiness from the top coat layer. Your last step is to hydrate your cuticles again using the Gelish Nourish Cuticle Oil. And I must say this product smells amazing. All right, you guys, there you have it. This is my very first time doing my own nails. I was going for a natural look and I feel like they came out amazing i absolutely love them and again i'm going to be linking all of the items that i use in this video in the description box below so if you're interested go ahead and check it out i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please hit that like button subscribe leave a comment and i'll see you guys next time